Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got a really exciting one today. Some of you regulars would have remembered when we got our female Theraphosa Sturmy. Now, she finally, finally molted out. Now we've been keeping her well fed from the moment we got her. Um, we were trying to induce a molt. And it's very important when you're breeding your spiders and everything, that you try and get a female that is freshly molted because you might just waste your time. You might end up with a successful pairing and then if she literally goes straight into having a molt soon afterwards, that pairing is lost. So it's a complete waste of time. Now, if you're unfortunate and you lose your male in that pairing, you are now back to square one. So, very important, we always try and molt our females out so that we know for a fact we got a molt date and we know going forward we're in good hands. So our female molted pretty much a month ago, just over a month ago. Now what we've done with the uh, the Sturmy is we waited for her to leave her burrow. Bearing in mind she didn't come out for a whole month after I noticed the molt. So uh, it's been a bit of a long wait but she finally ventured out. She came out and we caught her out in the morning so very nocturnal. And uh, we caught her out first thing in the morning. So we've given her a couple of big feeds and then we introduced our male. Now you would have remembered our male. He came in from, um, oh, we, we bought him in a little while back. He came in from a subscriber that had him and could no longer keep him anymore. So we had him and uh, he's quite a, he's, considering he, he's led, led a bachelor life, he's quite a battle scarred old male. And, uh, but he done the job and we managed to catch it on film. I hope you enjoy this. Sit back and see these titans go for it. It's absolutely amazing. I'll see you in a moment. Well, here we have our male Theraphosa Sturmy. He's been introduced into the female's enclosure. As you will remember, for all our breeding projects, the male always gets introduced to the female's enclosure. And this is because in the wild, the males go wandering looking for females. Females don't go looking for males. Now this guy is getting on for nearly a year old now. He was mature when I acquired him. And you can see there, he's looking a bit battle-worn, although he's never ever been in with a female. And we have a nice close-up look at him there. You can see the end of his pedipalps there. See the amount of hair on the legs? Very, very hairy. And you can also see the hooks on the end of the feet there. All tarantulas have these hooks and it enables them to be able to grip onto just about anything. And they can climb almost anything. And it's important with these guys that we don't give them too much height because they're a very heavy bodied tarantula. We don't want them falling. Now this male, he's measuring out at almost 10 inches. So he's a big lad. You can see there the hairs stop. Look like what we call the knee joints. If this was a Theraphosa blondie, all that hairiness on the legs would go all the way through, all the way up the leg. And you can see the um, urticating hairs on the abdomen there, slight bald patch. All them white hairs around the ball patch, they're the hairs that he flicks up. And the long hairs are the guard hairs, which enable them to flick those up and they help disperse those urticating hairs. Now these are a type 3 urticating hair, so they can be rather strong if you're prone to their irritants. You can see there he's sitting pretty calm. Huge great mandibles on him. Big thick set joints. You can see where there's bits of hair missing on him all over the place. And this is where he's been tussled and moved about and bits and pieces in the past. Now he's sitting here now. Now what we've um, what we've had to do here is he sat like this for around about 40 minutes. Didn't do a thing. Just sat there. Nothing at all. He 
obviously knows he knows where he is, but he was a little flustered when we moved him in. And he's sort of taken a little bit of time to settle down. So here we are, we're going to actually move him. He notice we touch a front leg. And this is because we know that he will react in more of a defensive way. So by touching the side of his leg, we've managed to turn him and get him to go where we want him to go because he was chasing the, the paintbrush. If we had touched him on the other side, he would have turned the other way. So these are important little tricks to, to learn if you want to maneuver your spiders without upsetting them. Now you can see now he's starting to actually throb his body. He's flicking his legs now. This is the kind of behavior we're looking for. Now she is underneath that log to the left of him. Now at the moment he's going through what we would only suggest to be a visual display. He's lifting and lowering his body very, very gently. You see there he's getting a shake on with his legs. Here she comes, see that? Look down underneath that piece of bark. You just see a leg moving there. She knows he's there and I'm sure he knows that she's there. Now once again we came to a little bit of a stalemate here and he sat up on this log just like this for another half an hour. So we decide we're going to move him again and see if we can't generate a little bit of interaction. So here we are, we're going to come back in with our paintbrush and we're going to see if we can turn him to come back down. You see she's moving underneath that log. And he's going the wrong way. So we need him to come back down. He's in a good position up there. So here we go, we're going to touch him, see, we touch him on the back leg now and it turns him round to where the paintbrush was, which is exactly where we want him to be. So we've manoeuvred him, now he's found the entrance to our burrow. This is what we've been waiting for. Now it's taken pretty much over an hour to get to this stage. These guys were very, very slow, the male was very slow to actually initiate anything. But you can see now he's moving now, he's, he's starting to get the gist of it. Here she comes, see those legs come creeping out. He's not intimidated at all but at the moment. Everything we see from now on in is in real time. Here we go. Gently caressing one another there. She's coming out very, very slowly perfectly. She is very much in condition. She molted five weeks ago and she had a huge great big hissing cockroach last night. So she's ready. Here he goes. He's trying to get them petty palps underneath her. And he's still trying. Look, he's trying. And he's slowly backing up a little bit, trying to get her to come out. You can see her epigastric furrow is actually open there. You can see it hanging down slightly. Oh, he's been backed up into the water bowl. Notice no aggression. Very, very calm. You can see his pedipalps there, the, the emboli on the end. Huge, great boxing gloves on these guys. Here we go, he's going underneath now. There you go, you can see the emboli. He's searching, she's offering herself up now. Perfect. Our insemination is there. Now he's got her, he's in there. He's trying to back away. Oh, a little bit of a little bit of action here. We might have to save him. There we go. Paintbrush between the fangs on these last on these large spiders. And that stops her from moving the brush aside and still coming on. If it's between the fangs like that, she cannot get past it. So our male has left and exited the enclosure, rather hastily I might add, and she's still wondering what on earth was going on. Perfect. Well then, what did you think to that? I did promise you some action, didn't I? And we think there's absolutely stunning footage. We only just managed to save him. Now this is something I don't do very often. I quite like to let my males do their own thing. I don't like all this hovering above them and tweezers and all sorts of stuff. I don't really like all that. I like to just let them get on and do things as naturally as possible. 
Um, but he was on, once he'd done the job, and you saw in the video there, it was very, very obvious. He managed to inseminate her straight away, and he held on. He really did hold on. He kept a grip of her until eventually he pulled his pedi pad away, and then he started backing up, and she was following him, and she was all up on top. I thought for a moment she was going to have him. But in hindsight, it wasn't really that aggressive. It looked quite aggressive, but it wasn't really that aggressive. They were more trying to untangle, and I think she was more caught up on him as, as much as he was trying to get away. And uh, he basically ran out of um, enclosure space and uh, came out onto the table and was gone. You didn't see that bit, he literally came straight out. And uh, we managed to catch him up nice and easy. And you see there, we put the paintbrush in between her fangs, and this way she cannot come forward. You can do that with a big spider. With the small spiders, it's not so easy, but with a big spider, putting it between the fangs, she can't sidestep that, so she can't get round it. And it won't damage her, it won't do any harm to her whatsoever, but it seriously stops her in her tracks, and she can't do anything about it. So we have her under total control with the minimum amount of fuss. So it worked really, really well. So then, what we're gonna do now is we will pair them one more time. So we're gonna give them a week, and then we're going to pop him back in there and we'll see if we can get another insemination. And then after that, we will just feed her up and we'll slowly but surely raise the humidity within her enclosure and we'll raise the temperature up as well. You might have remembered when we first brought these guys into the beastie room that we mentioned about that we were going to keep them at a lower temperature than everyone else's. And this seems to be working really, really well. So we're going to continue with that keep them at the lower temperature and then we will gradually raise it and see if we can't get her to produce a sack. It's very, very exciting stuff this, really, really exciting. And um, fingers crossed, everything's working to plan. It's all going in the right direction. So fingers crossed, we'll have some exciting news in the future. Right, well, some more exciting news now because one of our lovely subscribers, Andy Taylor and his wife, Kaylee, who's got a Facebook page, Kaylee Taylor Arts on Facebook, check it out. She made us this for the Beastie Room. How about that? Doesn't that look fantastic? On a natural piece of wood, that is uh, in, the tree, in the tree business, we call these rounds. Sort of self-explanatory really, isn't it? Rounds but it's a slice, it's called a biscuit. So, that is absolutely amazing. And one of our favorite spiders, I might add, the Aminia, absolutely stunning. Really, really like it. And we've got a little plaque as well. Look at that. That's really, really cool. Now this is Kaylee Taylor Arts. Now check out her Facebook page, because it's really, really cool stuff. And um, you can get in contact if you like something similar or, you know, maybe have your own design or whatever. I understand that she can pretty much turn around to most things. So um, get in contact with them. This is really, really cool. Now, this is actually going to go up on the wall, but we're running out of wall space at the moment in the beastie room. But I'm thinking we've got a little space up here and we've got our other plaque as well from our from one of our other subscribers, Nick. He uh, he done us a... Um, uh, Mike, sorry, he done us a, a plaque as well. So we're gonna put the two of them up there, I think. And I think they'll look really, really cool. So yes, thank you very much to Andy and Kaylee. And don't forget, check out her Facebook page. Absolutely stunning stuff. Really pleased with that, really nice. Right then, so then, that's all our updates for today. So keep posted, we'll see what happens with these Sturmy, and hopefully all will be well. So without that, without further ado, don't forget, be calm, be gentle, and love your spiders. I'll see you soon, guys.